Hey guys, this is W Rock Rams K here back with another video. This is a review of SmackDown Live. SmackDown before the TLC pay-per-view this Sunday. Pretty much, um, they try to hype up the pay-per-view as much as humanly possible. Every single match went towards a match on the pay-per-view card. Started things off with the um Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch, the contract signing for their match. They sign the contract, and then of course a fight happens because this is WWE, and that uh, fight and contract signing really isn't any fun. Becky Lynch ends up going through a table. Later on, by the end of the night, we found out that Alexa Bliss challenges Becky to a tables match for the women's championship. Becky then confirms that she will do it, and she also says that she has a bruised spinal cord, um, adding some injury in towards the match, giving Alexa Bliss something to pretty much target. During their match at TLC. We also uh, had a James Ellsworth segment. The Ambrose Asylum had another return TLC edition. Where uh, Dean just pretty much interviewed James. And asked him all these questions. You know how does it feel to be a Smackdown person. And um, pretty much who would you rather face for the World Heavyweight Championship. Because he did earn a title match. I don't know how but this guy did. I understand where Dota is going with him because he's a crowd favorite and he's an indie guy, but at the same exact time, the wrestling fan side of me is kind of like, I like him, but no way does he ever deserve a world title right now in his in his career, but I can understand if they put it on there just for how Dota B creative works. But overall, AJ Styles comes out, interrupts it, pretty much goes off on James, goes off on Dean, goes to uh, attack. Dean ends up attacking James the entire time, gives him a style splash on top of the steel steps outside the ring. James gets taken to the hospital as the last we see of Dean for the rest of the show, and AJ into the very end. The other match we had was a promo. Carmella came out pretty much saying how much she feels bad for John Cena because Nikki's going to get beat up by her and John's going to have to deal with it. And then Nikki came out and beat the living crap out of Carmella and... That's pretty much it. I don't even think there was a Divas match on the card. Honestly, there wasn't really much to SmackDown this week other than like a lot of promos, to be honest. That was pretty much their main thing going for them. They also had Kaliso and Dolph Ziggler in a match against uh, Miz and Baron Corbin. And somehow the use of ladders are allowed inside this match. Probably because they were a prop outside of the ring, but no, Baron goes and grabs a chair, slams Kaliso with it, leading on to their chairs match at TLC, and there's a disqualification. I don't know where that makes sense, but it somehow it does, and that's their lead up to their match. Baron versus Kaliso, I really hope this ends a rivalry because I like Baron, but he's kind of ruining the, uh, I guess you can say SmackDown's version of a cruiserweight guy, Kaliso, who, if you know me, you know I love Kaliso. And they're kind of burying him pretty hard right now, and I don't really like that. And to end the show, we had the Tag Team Championship for the number one contenders, American Alpha versus Bray and Orton. I can't stand Bray. I was really hoping American Alpha was going to pull it off. But no, of course, they have to give it to Orton and Bray, because Orton and Bray are the big guys, and... Of course you want to see them win the tag team title, so they're going to pass off the opportunity to them. And now they're going to be facing Heath and Rhino. And at the very end of the show, Heath and Rhino pretty much commented saying that hope they're prepared for them. And then AJ came out and was like, no one cares for the tag team guys. And then we see Dean at the very end of the show. Tech AJ Styles. And that's pretty much all of SmackDown Live wrapped up in about four minutes for you. Um, I'm going to give it a... Four to five stars because they did put a lot of hype for TLC. They did a pretty damn good job doing it. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because always more to come.